Right, Roxy's mood's been manipulated today, right? So at the moment, she's got a rag toy. Yeah, which she's been trying to rip to bits after being told to get in from the back garden because she's been eating grass, attacking blades of grass. Right. Shall we go and ground, shall we, Roxy? Bit of tadpole food on toast. Let's go and see Boomer and Snatch, shall we? Let's just have a look at the sky, shall we? Wow. Gone's the neighbour's sunny day. <coughs> Do you think it's getting ready to come down on their heads again? Look at that view. Well, ah dear. Oh, look at you bouncing about. Right, go away. You've got your dinner. Do you see me getting distracted eating mine? Go away. I'll save you the crusts. So if we're distracted in the front garden and the back window's open, how do they sneak in? And that's why you get distracted dogs. Hmm, can you smell it, can you, Roxy? So why would they want to manipulate a dog's mood? Knowing how the dogs behave, because they've been watching. And I'm walking barefoot on the grass that's been sprayed with something. Oh. So if it's been affecting the dogs, making them sick and killing them, it's also been getting into my body as well, hasn't it? Through my feet. Very, very subtle. song isn't it I ain't thick it's just a trick just dared to land in her garden. <laughs> Do 
I look at the weeds coming through the fence from next door. All right. But a tidy bush being trained along a fence is not acceptable. Don't you dare try and sneak attack my fucking breakfast, Roxy. I've already wised up to the sneaky peak holes through the fence. Because that's how I got assaulted over the fence. That's how we knew where I was. And if my dog starts making telltale noises, I'll just show you, because it's nothing weird or perverted. That lady's bedroom window beside Margaret's there, to the right of that bush. Because it's always kept clean and it's got no neck curtains in it, if I'm standing over here, or if I moved towards that fence, I can see what the Smurfette bitch next door is doing behind the fence what the camera can't see so if he's standing the other side of the fence winding the dog up I can see him by looking in that window not looking in the window looking at reflection on the window same as what a woman does when they're trying to look at a bloke discreetly on a bus <coughs> Or in the reflection of a phone, like a mirror. If you see what I mean. So nothing untoward. Cameras can't see in the bedroom windows. So they can't complain about that, can they? Camera catches the dodgy stuff though. So they fuck about with the camera domes. And then because the dogs are still alerting me to what's been happening while I've been out, when I notice things out of place inside my home, the dogs had to go, didn't they? So where are the dogs? Dead. But I've already been caught out. I can tell when they're vexing because the dogs pick it up first. Now I have a growl or start being sick. And then it starts affecting me soon after because I'm a third density creature and the dog is a second density creature. But the wise learn to read the signs, don't they? See how she's not reacting to noises now out the front. Good girl. Oh, we've got shouting voices. 
No reaction from the dog. Hmm. I guess we sussed it out, haven't we, Roxy? Which means if I put it online, that means the authorities will also know about it as well. So why the fucking Crown and Court Circus? It serves no purpose, does it? That pesky pigeon on the aerial again. <laughs> Pigeons eat bread, don't they, Roxy? So I'll throw it to the pigeon. Shall I? So I'll throw it to the pigeon. Hmm. Go on. Lovely farmhouse white loaf, this one. Got given it by the lady in the shop the other day. I think it was out of date, but it's good enough for toasting. Roxy's already ate the crust off of it. Oh, it's your nemesis, look. Get away from my food. <laughs> You're guarding the food, are you, Roxy? Are <coughs> oh, you? <yeah. coughs> alright, 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 calm down. Is it sitting up there, is it? Oh, I can feel spits of rain here. Coming down on their heads. And the pigeon's up in the tree. Trying to distract the dog. And the pigeon's eating the fruit off the trees. Alright, unless I throw a bit of this bread up on top of that roof and I'll bet you it goes straight for it and rocks here go fucking nuts. Let's just see. Alright, just testing something, Roxy. Not doing nothing out of order. Let's see if that's what the pigeon... Ah, get off my... Right. So he's gone back with his berries now, look. To his mate, sitting up on top. Don't know if it's the male or the female, just taking the food back to the, whatever the other sex is on top of the aerial. But there's a bit of bread now on top of that roof that both of them can see. It's a bit like grey-haired old people, isn't it? Working in twos, like that one there, and the one behind that fence there. So I can see an open window. What? 
way more open than my one is and an open gate and I know she doesn't go out without shutting everything up what? So why is the gate open? To let someone else in, of course. Because I should have been distracted and gone out, shouldn't I? To deal with a problem somewhere else. Isn't that right, Roxy? And again, because I didn't follow routine, I don't know what to do now. feel rain. Right, let's pause it there and that's we got oh it's just running out anyway. So let's let it run out and up 